Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of the this red shaded region enclosed by these three identical circles that are tangent to each other. And one more thing, the radius of these each circle is four inches. And here is our very first step. Let's label centers of these circles. The first one on the top, I am going to this center, I'm going to label it as an A. This on the left hand side, this is going to be our center B and this is going to be our center C. Now let's go ahead and connect points A and B, A and C and B and C. And here is our nicer looking figure once we have connected points A, B, A, C, and B, C. And as you can see that this is the radius of this top circle, which is four inches. This is four inches as well. So this, this side is going to be eight inches. Likewise, on this side, is going to be eight inches as well and same thing eight inches on this one so that means this triangle is going to have same sides eight inches each so thus our this triangle abc is an equilateral triangle that means all these sides are same which are eight inches and one more thing the angle, since this is a collateral triangle, that means all these angles are going to be 60 degrees each. Just keep in your mind. And now since we are interested only in the this red shaded area, and here in our step 3, this is what I said. As we can see, the red shaded region is the area that can be achieved by removing three these circular sectors these ones from this triangle a b c and here's the visual representation this shaded region equal to this equilateral triangle minus this sector number one is this one number two sector is this one and number three is this one. Now let's focus on these three circular sectors. They are identical, so therefore we can write as three times the area of this circular sector. So we can nicely write as the area of this shaded region equal to area of this equilateral triangle minus three times the area of the circular sector with the 60 degree angle. And I am going to call this as an equation number one. And here is the area of the equilateral triangle formula, square root of three divided by four times a square, where a is the length of this each side of this equilateral triangle and moreover the area of the circular sector is going to be a theta over 360 degrees times pi r square and here theta in our case is 60 degrees that means this theta is going to become 60 degrees. Now let's go ahead and find the area of this equilateral triangle first and we know the formula square root of 3 divided by 4 times a square and in our case the a value is 8 inches. The each side of this equilateral triangle is 8 inches. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. a equal to square root of 3 times in our case, 8 square divided by 4. So that is going to give us square root of 3 times 64 divided by 4. If we simplify this thing, that is going to give us 
a equal to 16 times square root of 3. Now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this circular sector where this theta is our 60 degrees. Let's fill in the blanks. So a equal to theta on the top is 60 degrees divided by 360s times pi. And r in our case, the radius of this circle is 4 square. Let's go ahead and simplify 60 and 360. That's going to give us 1 sixth times 4 square is 16 times pi. If we simplify this thing, that is going to give us 8 pi over 3 as the reduced answer. So this is the area of our circular sector. So that's our equation. Number one is going to become the area of equilateral triangle turns out to be 16 times square root of 3 minus 3 times the area of the circular sector is 8 pi divided by 3. And let's simplify 16 square root of 3. This 3 and 3 is gone. So we got negative 8 pi. So thus the area of this shaded region turns out to be 16 times square root of 3 minus 8 pi square inches. Or if you use a calculator, this is approximately equal to 2.58 square inches. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.